This video is slowed down. Valorant has many different animations for guns and knives, but how accurate are they? Well, for most gun variations, it's quite simple to say. They are really, really good. And if anything, they are perfect. But how about the occasional faster animation? They might look good if we look at them at full speed, but if you slow them down like with CSGO's Notorious Deagle, you notice the gun straight out clips through our hand, multiple times. Now in Valorant, there aren't that many weapons that have fast moving animations. Only the default knife if you really go for left clicks, but those are pretty solid as you can see right now. Or are they? Because if we really, really slow them down, we can notice some jumps between the transition from the first to second step and the same with the second to third transition. I know it jumps to fit the back to idle animation, but it's unforgivable, right? Please fix. So if the default knife already has some issues, how about the paid versions? There is an ever-grown collection of knives, so how do we even go over them within the time frame of an acceptable video? Well, simple, right? We just hop over to the wiki and categorize them there on type of knife. No, not really. Even though, for example, the Glitchwop X is an X, it actually uses the same animations as the Spectrum waveform. That's why instead, it's better to manually check each weapon's attack animation, and voila. Here are all the knives in their respective categories. The skins that belong in the default attack animation category, which we know only has one issue, and that's the issue of transitioning between steps, are, not in any particular order, Kingdom, Lux, Nebula, Prism, Singularity, Ego, Smite, Striker, Outpost, Blast X, Valorant Go Knife Volume 1, Magepunk, and the Protocol Knife, which switches between animations at the end of the step sequence from default animation to dagger and vice versa. Speaking of dagger, here are the skins in the dagger animation category. Elder Flame, Forsaken, Glitchpop, Nunca Olviados, sorry if I mispronounced that one, Reefer, Rune, and the Spline Dagger. Luckily, I happen to own one of these daggers, the Glitchpop Dagger. Equipping the dagger goes really fast, so let's slow it down. And let's take a look at it one more time. Oh no. Did you see that? Let's watch it one more time, and keep your eyes on Killjoy's middle finger. Oh my, and that's not all. It clips a second time. The tall butt of the dagger clips twice through our hand when equipping, which, to be honest, is to be expected. When Riot creates new animations for a type of knife, they make it with the idea in mind to use it for multiple different skins to be as cost effective as possible. The first dagger knife, which I think, correct me if I'm wrong, the rune dagger from the Act 3 Battle Pass, should have perfect equip animations. I don't own the knife myself, as I didn't play as much back then, but doing some quick YouTube research shows me it doesn't clip like it does with the dagger. So depending on your dagger, it might just clip through your middle finger. But how about when we start stabbing? Seems like the same issue as with the default dagger animation, plus the clipping because the glitch pop is kind of thick. The next category of attack animations is the long arms knives category, which contains the new SIS knife, artisan, glitch pop, prime, prism free, radiant, neuroblaster, K-Tag, winter wunderland, Turgis who else, titan mail, song steel, hive mind, Snowfall, Spectrum, Sovereign, and the Celestial Fan, which has an additional attack animation where you lunge forward in a kind of poke stab attack. A weapon I own in this category is the Sovereign Sword. So let's see how the equip animation holds up. Riot, please fix. And Riot. Please fix. The most popular category of knives in Valorant right now are the butterfly knives. So the Recon Bally Song, Valorant Go Volume 2 knife, aka the Yoru Butterfly Knife, and the brand new RGX Butterfly Knife, which I just happen to own. Great, let's see how it holds up. After all, these knives have the speediest animation of them all. To be honest, I don't even know what's going on. All I know, it's colorful and beautifully animated. Does it hold its worth in slow motion though?
And finally, the fastest and most complicated animation in the game, the Rainbow Twister. I'm honestly blown away by how well made this animation is. They could have easily sneaked in a couple clips through the fingers, as no one would ever find out unless they slow it down, but alas. Well done Riot. Let's see if they fix their step transitioning in the newest animation. It's really close compared to the transitions from the older animations, but you know, not quite there yet. Somehow they always mess up the left hand. Riot. Nice try. The remaining categories are the dual wield, karambit, and gauntlet category. However, I don't own any of these knives. What I can tell you though from the previous in-game and some sneaky YouTube research is that every knife in Valorant has step transitioning issues. No matter the animation category. Also fun fact, dual wielding knives like the Undercity Hack and Slash actually borrow the animation from the dagger and long arms knives. It just alternates in between. Anyway, that's it for the stuttery slow motion session. Click here to watch my previous video where we explore and play unsuppressed versions of the iconic weapons in Valorant. And here to find out why flashes in Valorant are better than the ones in other games. Thank you so much for watching and till the next one, farewell.